Morning Mark Savage here, welcome to my channel. Yamaha Aerox 50cc. Came out just after the speed fights, well here anyway. And these were direct in competition. Difference being that the speed fight had a double seat, you could sit further back. Uh, you could be slightly taller. These generally, <laughs> small person, but I've often seen them jacked right up in the air. You can get a lot of little bits you can with these. And they are fast, really fast. Um, most of them are water cooled. I've seen occasional air cooled one, not many. Same sort of problems with the head going and the usual bits and bobs, but generally quite nice, fun little scooters. This one, this is a 2010 model, um, 30k on the clock, about 22,000 miles. Um, usual little bits wrong, but does it run? Yes, electric kick start. Let's have a quick look around it. It's front end, good tyre. Disc brakes, scratches, got to be cleaned up, single light in the front, I have got actually um, an off market set, but again they're not legal here in the UK, body pan underneath, a few screws here and there missing, and your obligatory scratches, well, everywhere, air fit was here, carpet is a bit hard to get to, Usual clutch, variator, belt. Starter motor is in there. A really silly place to put it, I've always found. Water splashes straight on it, they often fail. And it's not anything else than saying this wire here, a little bit there, just gets corroded. Rear indicators, they were separate. Great plastic bit, I didn't cut that off, but gives someone to put your valve plate, doesn't it? Slow leak in the rear tyre, being told. It's got to be sorted. And this shock is gone. Dampness gone. So you get this springiness everywhere. Exhaust. Rubbing down. Painting. Now it looks like it's been cracked at some stage and someone's done a little bit of a bodge screw and job on there. But hey, we'll have a look at that. Gym plate's easier to find than this one. More scratches. More bits here. Now, I've seen this before and there's a bit more of it. It's got a crack, so what people think is they try and melt weld it, which is where you just, you know, heat it up and it sticks together. Doesn't work. Take it off, glue it from behind. Panels off everywhere. This is where your battery and your oil are. I'll do that in a second. Clips, more of this weird welding idea. I mean, it looks like that worked, but it doesn't work for long. It just weakens the plastic. More cable ties. More scratches. Front and dirt. Oh, well, yeah. yeah, so basically it's been a bit round the block. It needs a lot. All the panels will come off, and they need securing. Looks familiar to the speed fight, doesn't it? They all seem to. You know, on general first looks, they all look quite good, and then they end up, well, just being falling apart everywhere. All crap and falling apart. So we've got to get all this off and get it all sorted. Missing, but again, you get to see the VIN plate. There's your oil and the battery. Is under here, and this is your 2T oil. Again, always use good quality 2T oil. Now, they did a bit cleverer than the speed fight. Instead of having a separate key over here, it is on here, and you literally just twist it the other way. And you've got your little bucket. Simple dash. It moves a bit pants, but they do the job. So we're going to come to the exhaust. This is loose. That will fail MOT. It's not that it's not tight, it just needs another washer in it, but they class it as unsafe. Paint, good old heat proof paint. This is just Halfords, it's eight pound. When you're doing this exhaust, make sure you really do rub it down and then get a flat screwdriver and get rid of any loose detritus, oil, anything on here, scratch it all the way, and then nicely paint. This is a little Leo Vince exhaust, not too noisy, but some work's got to be done. Now, I added this little bit in because I've just blown over here. A quick look round. I've just blown over that to get rid of some of the real deep scoring. I've got to play this yet. And again here, I just blew over that. 
we're going to be getting off the arse of the bike, the rear end. This is so I can get the shock off. It's not just a little bolt here, but there's one right up there. And you need to get these bits off. And then we're going to be looking around and getting all these panels back on again. I know the engine runs really well, so we're going to leave that alone. So I want to give you a sneak preview of the up and coming next moped. She's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It's a bit you. GY6 engines, it is a Peugeot V-Click, 50cc. So this is a 2013 model, gaffer tape everywhere. The electric start on this just stopped working basically, and it won't kick start over, it didn't, didn't work. I don't love these at all, they run and they just die, which this one's done. But I thought for you guys, I'd help you out and just show you how they can sometimes be something simple, and other times it's a complete shit. Um, these little engines, when they go, they just go. People just forget to put oil in them. But it's an electrical problem, hopefully, take all the panels off. Hopefully, we'll find maybe just a simple, simple little fix. Maybe something really, really bad. I just don't know. Had a bike before, it just turned out to be this uh, side stand here that stopped messing around and it wouldn't start at all. Um, it could be something as simple as that, but who knows? We shall um, get round to uh, having a look on my next video. Now, unlike the Peugeot Speedy Fighties, the Aeroxes is a simple Philips 10 mil. Now, you've got to get the back and then the side bit off to get this little bit. Let me show you. 10, uh, 10 mil there, get this little one off, and then literally just follow all the screws here and it just comes off and then we can get to the bolt that is up there and that should be reasonably easy to get this one off and then get ready bye um good seller you know second hand shock um practically new anyway the guy contacted me sunday said yep yeah, i've got it i'm sending it to you and it will be with you by wednesday so i put this in for MIT for thursday what well, nice to get a reply from a, a seller and towards the other stuff that i didn't reply they still sent it good so ebay recently thumbs up normally i'd say shit with them but you i'm having to check every time from you know china where they say you'll have it fast and then you click on it and it's two months it's literally 14 mil there and a 12 mil there <laughs> take out take out push the bolt out and it's done I didn't need to take the top bit off. Screw, 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 screw. It says there's a hundred screws in here, but it was simple as that. There's your plastic tank. Don't have to get to see that. We're going to be looking at this. I said whether I've got to drill down and drill up. I'd rather have some screws that you can see and know that it's all together rather than things dangling and bashing around like that. But that is as simple as that. I'm really, you know, it's just so, so simple to change the shocks. The front end is okay, but if the front shots go, clever people take them. They're a sealed unit. I don't just if they're gone, they're gone. Okay, you can't replace them. I've just replaced the whole stock before. It's just easier. Thirty odd quid. You go to the garage and go charge you double that. So to be honest with you, get a whole front end if you need to get it done. So new shot came, and um, yeah, bloody lovely took a little bit longer than I thought it was and it also came with bolts as well so I can take them out but unfortunately it took a little while longer than I thought it was going to take so I sort of booked it in for an MOT and I've had to cancel that because it didn't come in time really annoying isn't it you know it took four days to get here I asked the postie when she uh, dropped it off and she said oh uh, I thought it was going to come yesterday and she said oh yeah I had yesterday off Seems that the post office are just really acting quite a bit selfish lately, you know. I don't mean to sound horrible or anything, but the person has a day off, so no one gets any post. Mm. Anyway, they literally just plug back in and play again. It is as simple as that. You can't get no simple how to put one of these on. I've seen so many ones with these little jack-up kits, cost a tenner, and really does jack the back of the bike up. We're not going to do that on this one today because they're quite high anyway. Um, I'm just going to put this on. Now, decals came. Unimpressed. <laughs> just a bit of shit. 
I didn't want to pay uh, £49 for a much nicer set. There's a video on here of one I did, and I put them on there. But I'm just not going to get the money back on this one. So there's, there's just no need for me to be paying out a lot of money uh, when you're not going to get it back. I've had this conversation with a few young, young lads who would contact me and say, you know, um, stage six this and Polini and all top of the range makes and I'm going to do all this to it. Will it make it go, you know, extra fast? Sometimes I feel as though it's a bit like the old days, you know, uh, go faster stripes. <sighs> My dog has just gone into the little garden and took something to munch off of it. Let me get some more bones. Got to stop doing that. another simple project done. I couldn't pull it apart, it didn't need it. If you want to see the variator, I've got a video of an Airbox variator working. You want to see all the little parts on here, stator coil and etc. I've got uh, another couple of videos of them as well. So check out Airbox Mark Savage to find out more on these. However, fast little ped, nice and simple, rear shock all done now so it's a dampener, little bit of a tidy up, decals aren't brilliant, let's have a quick look around it. Yeah, okay, moan about the decals. Should I have paid £50? Yeah, I guess I should have, really. Nice new shock. Blown over. A bit of dirt could be up and down the road on it. Does go well. Exhaust painted, but not pretty. Better than the rust colour. Check the water, it's all good. There we go. And I didn't spot this as I said earlier. That's really, really bright. LED little lights there. It's all good. Hope this video has been helpful. Like, share and subscribe. Stay with me. Next, V-Click. Little Peugeot V-Click. There's a few there actually. Um, gone out on it, found out the rollers weren't very good. Still cleaned the carburetor, etc. Uh, air filter as well. Turned out definitely to be the rollers. You know, there's so much to be said. For the rollers, I know you think it's not going to be because the bike is pulling back, it's juddering, it won't go up the hill, it's got a bit of carb, it's got a bit of the engine. It's the rollers. You've got to imagine you're stuck in a high gear. And the engine, the little 50s, they can't manage it, especially them little tiny 40s. Don't love working on them, but there's a video coming up. There you go. Job done. Thank you so much, as I said. I do chat on, I know. Hopefully it's been interesting. Persia V click next. We'll carry on. Take care of yourselves on the road. Nice simple first look. Thank you so much for watching. A couple of free more of these coming up. Please like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourselves. Nice, short, easy one to see. Yeah, I did that in five minutes, Lou. That's not right. So what bike is that? Yeah, my Aerox. Why do you keep saying speed bike? Did I say speed fight? About four times you were saying speed fight. About the speed fights, yeah. It's, to me it sounds like it's because you said something about oh, that's what they like with the speed fight. And I thought it's not a speed fight. Yeah, they have a bit here and this one's different. Oh. Well, I just looked at hearing you say it and I'm like, did you get it wrong? Did I get it wrong? Did I say speed fight more times than Aerox? Yeah, more Aerox. Yeah, more Aerox. <laughs> yeah, more Aerox. So on this air box, there's scratches all down here. We're going to blow these over. On this air box, this is knackered, so we're going to well, cable tie it, we glue it, do it properly. And you have this air box variator system. So the clutch in the same place, variator is in the same place, and the belt. Check out that. Although this does go, and this has got a nice little kickstart that works. Now these air boxes have a. Now 
Now the one thing that I don't like about the old airbox is, is where the electric start is and it's here. Now easy to get on and off but this little cable here, the electric connection, gets water in there and it just stops working. I mean easy to rectify, clean up but that is a fault these have. Front and rear disc brakes on these, and they are Brimbo ones. Well, I say they are. Now, this shock here is gone, the dampener, so all you've got is this massive springy bit. That does need replacing. More scratches. I think they're obligatory, really, on all these little bikes now. Easy to get your gearbox all though. Rear on these Aerox, simple, bulb, indicators. Now, water cooled, there are some I've seen air cooled, but mostly water cooled. Bit of damage here, and there's quite a bit of damage to be honest with you, first think about it. Now, I don't, oh, actually, you can see you, dickhead. I can see you in order, actually, never mind. I don't like this, this is going to come off. I don't know if it's caused damage here, but yeah, it's not right. Never loved the lights on these. So you can see the bulbs there, it's not the best. Oh, do you know what? I didn't even notice that. Yeah. I wonder does that even work? Actually pretty bright though. Front shocks and these do go, but these haven't gone. So another really bloody hot day. This needs MOTing, so I'm going to have to go over this. I know the rear shot's gone, the front shot's all right, we'll go all the lights. All the panels have to be secure on here, so we have to make sure they're okay on here as well, otherwise it will fail the MOT. So it has to be completely gone over. And here we go, two keys, all the paperwork, let's get on with it. <laughs> 